guys it is 4 54 a.m. coming into the second morning of our camping trip I don't know if you can hear it, it kind of slacked up right now but it's pouring down rain so I went out and made some checks and made sure everything was all buttoned down and uh, so far no leaks right mama huh so we're just I think she's going back to sleep You're going back to sleep mm -hmm. I went outside and checked everything and I had to close this I had this side open here to get a breeze in so went outside to do that and uh, you know zip that up so so far seems to be pretty decent no leaks I did not waterproof this tent because you know you gotta have at least 24 hours for it to dry once you do that and uh, I knew I wasn't going to have that so I didn't want it just washing off it would have been a waste of time so hopefully it won't leak uh, but if it if it does it'll be because I didn't waterproof it but uh, so far I'm not seeing any leaks so Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> 4.54, you said? Mm -hmm. Yep, 4.54. So, hear it? <laughs> yeah, I think the mic's picking it up. So I was out in and I went out and smoked a cigarette while I was out there, so... Speaking of cigarettes, I don't know where I put my other packs. I put them somewhere with something. Inside something, I think. I don't know. Because I only got one left in here. So. Crap. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you know what's happening. Okay guys, as you can tell from the intro, it rained, I'll tell you what, it actually poured harder than that, I mean it got bad. I think our leak stopped, but still, I'm going to, it was coming in somewhere right in here, so what I'm going to do, it was just a little drip. And when it dripped onto the screen, you know how it kind of splatters. She could feel it every so often. So it wasn't like getting wet in there or anything like that. You could just see it on the screen. So I'll take some, I'll unzip this and then I'll take my fingers and I'll go down along each, each side of that with some uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly. And then I'll zip it up and then I'll take my finger and I'll run it down through here and across this seam here just to make sure but it was look like it's coming in about here but i'll run it down through in seams too so it seemed though we didn't get wet though didn't we mama no not really not really well i got a few drops on my head yeah but you can't count that wasn't really no, drops no puddles or anything no we didn't get wet and it so. could have because of the rain that was coming down so i'm making her coffee and her eggs and bruno's got a couple eggs there And I'm making, I made some bacon, half a pound of bacon there, because I'm going to save the rest for the pork chops tonight. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, I'll probably save this grease too. Uh-oh. Oh, we're outside. Huh? We're outside, we got to eat some dirt. It wasn't dirt, it was... Leaf? <laughs> what do you think, man, this morning, this, this big old walnut <laughs> fell on the tent man it sounded like somebody fired a shotgun didn't it i know i said that was a big walnut huh and she goes well, i guess so <laughs> i thought it was put a hole in it <laughs> yeah it i did too hard i did too looks like great but nah it was fine but i don't know if you can see or not but the clouds are moving fast because we're only like <laughs> five minutes that way is the gulf coast yeah the bay 
So, and we might be able to get there to with our boat. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to take the boat out today as long as it stays like this. Hi, Mama. Yeah. And I'll kick you back on when we do other stuff.
Uh, so what we did was we went out on the boat for about five hours and it rained but 85% of the time we was out there it was nice then we pulled back into a cove did a little fishing kind of windy for that had a couple hits but that's it but uh didn't bring my camera because it was underneath the front seat of the truck and when we got down there the guy said well they're telling me to charge you guys to park here or you can just take your trailer back to your campsite and I said doesn't say that in the website he said yes it does he pretty much called me a liar I said bull fucking shit I said it says it's free no overnight parking no it doesn't I've never seen that and I work here I said well you better start studying your job a little bit more so she brought the truck back it's not that far <clears throat> and uh, then walked back and we done some boating um, so my camera got left in the truck but monkey's got some footage so maybe she'll let me throw some of that in so I'm starting to fire here everything's pretty wet but it seems to be taking hold pretty good I moved the fire ring just until it gets started so it can have more air I'm gonna make some pork chops so Bruno had a good time he was a good puppy he only tried to jump out of the boat once I don't know what he seen but never seen him do that before and then after that he never did it again so I don't know uh, crazy dog but uh, so yeah I think we're gonna go back down and do some night fishing off the dock so that should be interesting I'll bring you along for that I figure it's worth a shot sun shining now and it's hotter than hell at what was it it was uh 89 degrees at 10 57 10 47 this morning with a real feel of like 92 or something yeah, it's hot but at least on the boat you know you can get some air you can take off and get some air so i got a story for you about that old boat i had it up to i think the fastest i ever had it was 21 so when she's with me you know we've had it up to 19 uh, when we first got it it would run 16 then I've had it up to 19 with her in it so I was out boating around while she came back to get the truck so um, so I was boating around this guy on a bass tracker just come out and he pulls up beside me Cause I was, you know, tweaking the motor a little bit. He said, man, that thing runs pretty good. How fast can you get out of that little thing? I said, I've had it up to 21. He said, well, you were doing faster than 21 there, I guarantee. I said, you think so? He said, you want to check? I said, yeah. He says, whenever you're ready, go. So what I did was raise the motor up half an inch. So it doesn't get on plane as fast, but it's got more top end now so you know it kind of does this when i'm by myself it does this does this for a minute and then it'll start leveling out so i got on it and i'm doing this wheelie and he's beside me and all at once this thing just started to sit down and phew, it was like a missile and i was running hard boy giving it all she had and i heard him because i seen him falling back and i heard him throttle his up to catch me and he caught up to me and he kept giving me a thumbs up and then when we leveled off he went like this so we slowed down we stopped out there and we was talking he said how fast you think he's going now i said i don't know that felt pretty good 22 23 he said he's doing way faster than that he said i got you at 31 and he says this this speedometer in this boat's pretty accurate i said no shit and he said no shit 31 miles an hour he said this boat will only do 43 so he said i was three fourths throttle trying to catch it so that was pretty good in that little boat there that 63 18 horse evanrude pretty impressed with that that guy's impressed with it too he said oh by the way my name's tim man <laughs> so we talked for a minute and he was heading out towards the golf to go fishing but we all we was out in the golf today and it was rough that thing that boat was airborne several times i said it's too choppy i said i'm turning around she's like why I said, not in this old boat once we got turned around coming back 
you know, with the waves we was okay, but it was really choppy. I said, now, you know, these rivets are almost 52 years old. <laughs> I want this boat coming apart and nobody was around, so we come back in and boated around. We used about two and a half gallons of gas out of six gallons, and we boated for five hours. And we only sat for about 30 minutes. The rest of the time we were we were under power. Sometimes we used a trolling motor. So about 85% of the time we were under power and wide open. So that's pretty good. So the boat's doing well. Love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get the fire ring onto the fire so I can put some more wood on it and get ready to make her some pork chops. So stick around for more, guys. Okay guys, here's the pork chops. There's monkeys. <coughs> okay, we're heating up the stew. And there's some bacon I had on top of the chops to give it some more flavor. Also, we're cooking the bacon, so we're going to bacon too. Uh, bacon, a little bit of stew, and some uh, potato salad. Right, Mama? But she she already tried that. How was it? Very good. Yeah, I marinated them. Yep. All I used was was cucumin. Yeah. Now season salt. Uh, just some paprika. I wish we had smoked paprika, but don't really need it because it's on the fire. Uh, cayenne pepper and some lemon pepper. All right, guys, we're gonna have a bite to eat and wait for dark, huh? Maybe we'll take a nap till dark. Okay. Right. Hey guys, here's a little hack for you. Check this out. I'm gonna turn you off of night vision. All right, I'm gonna turn this flashlight on. Okay. It really does nothing, but it shoots straight up in there, right? But you take a gallon of water. And you have a table lamp. Cool beans. Cool beans. Got the boat lit up because it's cool. But check it out. Nice little table lamp. Yep. Take it off. You can't see nothing. Put it on. Table lamp. Little camping hack for you guys. <laughs> Monkey's got a big fish on here. Look at her <laughs> fighting this thing. There's her pool. Whoa, hang on, hang on, stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> hang on. Okay. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> I gotta get him off my line. Oh, he got caught? That's all right. Okay, now you're going to have to stand up because you're around this pole. Where is he? Yeah, honey, you got to push your pole out. Oh, this. No. Hon. How long do you think you're going? Hon. Yeah? Come this way. Come here, Bruno. Come here. Hon, yeah. Listen to me. Here, you do it. No. You do it. Hon, listen to me. I'm Come just, here. I got Bruno. Okay. Let's see your line. Yeah. Where am I? Oh, there he is. Oh no. Okay, bring him up here and put him this way. <laughs> bring him up here. That's bigger than mine. Holy shit! <laughs> I caught a fish. What is it? Catfish? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. I caught him. Yay! <laughs> Second fish in your life. Yay! <laughs> she came on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good job. I have caught, what, three? Yeah. Three and two crab. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good job. He's a good size. Here we go. Monkey's on her second one. Yay! There's her pole. Ooh! 
Oh, he's fighting. There he is. Oh. Another catfish. Oh, and there's a there's a big snake down the bottom here. Ah. Pull him up here. Oh. Lift lift your pole up. Throw him up here. There you go. Hey, hon. Yeah. Look at that right down there. What is it? Look. See it? Uh huh. Where my light is? Yeah. What is that? Isn't that um, a stingray? No, it's an eel. See it's it? It's an eel? See it? Yeah. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's your second one. Yay! <laughs> Alright, yeah, you just hold that. Oh, light. I see him. Yeah, see him? Yeah. But your light's better. Yeah, Let me I'm get both of these lights. Wow. No, go down. Put your light down a little bit more. There you go. Up just a bit. Right there. Yeah, I see him really good. There he is. Yeah. Where's your light there? Ah! He's jumping. I think it's an eel. It could be a snake. No, I think it's an eel. Alright, hold your light there. Good job, monk. Yay. Number two. Number two. Yay. I just unhooked her and rebaited her. Bruno, stay. There oh, he's is. trying to leave me. They're getting bigger. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this. I've got a fish on here. This is my fourth fish. I've caught five crabs and an eel. I'm going to set you down here for a second. The monkey's caught two fish. One was about a pounder, and her second one was about a two pounder. I'm trying to keep you in the light here. I don't know if night vision will be any better. Let's try it. Okay, I got you on night vision now. Maybe that'll be a little better. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Take off night vision for a second and I'll shine a light on him. Hang tight. This is the biggest one yet of tonight. There's my boot. He's every bit as wide as my boot. He go. He probably go four pound. <sighs> All right. Four fish, five crabs, and an eel. Cool. All right. I gotta get him off my hook. So. Okay, guys. So I'm back from fishing. 
Monkey, what did you catch? Where are you at? Two Whoops. fishes. Huh? I caught two fishies. Two fishies? Uh huh. What kind of fishies? Catfish. Catfish. Yep. One was bigger than the other, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I caught four. Mm -hmm. Four catfish. You saw the last one. I didn't film mine. I should have been, but I had to film that one because I knew it was pretty good size. Right. Wasn't a monster, but he would have been good eating. Mm -hmm. I caught five crabs mm -hmm. and an eel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was a snake, but I thought, man, I never seen a snake go down lay on the bottom before. Well, I got him up out of the water. He was like two and a half feet long, and he was just yeah shaking around. Finally, he got off of there, but I did catch him. Yeah. So I had a good night, huh? Yeah, you did. It's Finally. Yeah, it's after it's after three o'clock right now. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. Bruno's in the tent. Yeah, he's exhausted. He's still there. Yeah, but I can't pick it up because of the screen. He's in there on the suitcase. <laughs> Oh, we got the boat all lit up. Got our light there. Turn that off again. I'll show you this again. That's amazing how much light this thing gives off. Yeah. Yeah. So, get you back on night vision. All right, guys. So. That's day two. We're out of here tomorrow. Yeah. Man, we was down there before nine o'clock. Were we? Yeah, because when we was just getting ready to leave, I heard somebody ask what time it was over there, and they said 8.30. Mm -hmm. So we was down there before nine. It's after three now. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't film a lot of my fish. No. Because of people playing music and shit, and... Oh, had that, one asshole down there. And that boat, I was like... Yeah, he was an asshole. I wanted to go talk to him. She wouldn't let me. Because uh, he was netting fish. Yeah. Okay, fine. No big deal, right? But he was doing it right in front of where we're fishing. Shining his lights all over us. Yeah. And she said, excuse me. You got your light right in my eyes. So before he left, she took that big bright bastard right there and shot it right in his fucking eyeball. Yeah. He didn't say a word. No. I wanted to go talk to him. She wouldn't let me. I'm like, well, fuck him. You know, have some respect, you know? Jesus. And he had this piece of shit boat. It was real loud, and he just kept going back and forth in front of us and shit. Yeah. And then as soon as he left, some guy sat there and played like a whole CD of fucking stupid-ass music. Real loud in a goddamn convertible. Oh. Don't, do, don't do that shit, guys. When people's trying to fish this late at night on a Sunday night, yeah. Leave us the hell alone, you know. Right. It was just one thing after another. All right, guys, so day two. Hopefully I got enough footage for you guys, so mm -hmm. we'll be heading out tomorrow. So I'm going to say goodnight. Monkey says out for now. <laughs> Monkey did good. I'm proud of her. Good job, Monk. Yay, I got two fishies. <laughs> yeah, that second one was about a two-pounder. Yeah. That last one, when I filmed it, I, p I put my boot beside him. He was every bit as wide as my boot. <laughs> yeah. So he's about four pound. Maybe, yeah. maybe five, yeah. So, all right, guys. I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We're going to hang out for a few minutes, and then we're going to get some sleep. We can sleep in a little bit tomorrow, and then we get to go. So. Yeah. All right, bye, guys.